Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host, Bruce Outrich, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is our uh, Turn Back Tuesday episode. You know what that means. All right, folks. Turn back the clocks. Clean up the spokes. This is another edition of Turn Back Tuesdays with your host, Bruce out. That's right, that's right, that's right. It's all about a Turn Back Tuesday. A little history lesson in the books for you. We're going to do this till the end of the year, and then we switch to something else, but uh, it's good to learn a little bit about our industry. So today's question, or history lesson, is when did drive test start taking over our truck testing um, things? And as a, you know, this is something that migrated, and I don't think a lot of us even realized it migrated. So anyway, uh, we'll tell you all about it right after this, so stay tuned, and uh, Let's get on with the show here, shall we? Hey folks, are you an owner or operator looking for a place to call home? Well, Rims Transport is based out of Hamilton, Ontario. And that's right, they are a place owner operator fleet only. They run flatbed out of uh, Hamilton and they don't run much more than five to 700 mile radius. So if you're looking for a place that you can get back home on a regular basis, you can get good miles. They have a great culture for owner operators and they want you to succeed. Then Rims Transport's the place to do that. Where can you learn more? Go to rimstransport.com. Make sure you tell them that the Love Pedal Podcast sent you and we want you to be successful. We know them personally over there, and we know they're going to take good care of you. you got open board, you've got uh, tandem US, you've got uh, multi-axle US, you got city, you got all kinds of positions available there, all owner-operator fleet. So if you want to be successful for 2023 and beyond, then get on with Rims Transport and tell them we sent you. All right, everybody, talk to you later. Go to rimstransport.com. All right, so let's talk about uh, drive test and when they got started. Probably most of you, uh, you may cringe when I even say the word drive test. I know a lot of people do. Uh, as far as the commercial driver's record, that can be... Uh, remember when we used to go to the ministry office and it used to be Service Ontario? Well, that has that changed, and it changed back around 2008, 2009 is when... Uh, um, drive test kind of took over but drive test is a division of circo so if you didn't know um who circo is circo canada um deals with government agencies so they uh they have 1200 people across 100 offices in four provinces newfoundland labrador ontario saskatchewan british columbia and they support federal and provincial governments so they only work with the governments and government services and a range of services include defense ship design licensing staffing air control air traffic control and space initiatives. So of course the licensing is what is uh, part of that. Circle Can is part of Circle North America, a division of Circle Group, a uh, global company that has more than 50,000 employees. So uh, we've seen Circle many times. They come, to, they come a lot to our um, TTSAO, the Truck Training School Association, has their conference. Circle is usually there doing a presentation, updating on what's coming up on drive test and all of that. So we've seen them many times in the... Uh, in the you know in industry and all kind of stuff so we know who they are we know what they do um so drive test started around 2008 and of course this has been a bit of a a (laughs) bit of a consensus uh plan here they um they just do the licensing as 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 mentioned they're owned by circo uh now if you want to get your license you have to go to a drive test center which i guess is to take away from the licensing it used to be all in one remember it used to you go in there and you'd be there some people are there for licensing some people are there for road tests now it's just the road tests and the licensing is still done by the uh, service ontario ministry um and we'll see if that changes i don't know if that's going to change down the road but uh, right now that's the way it sits uh so if you have to go to a drive you have to get your license in Ontario, you have to go to a drive test center, and you can find them at drivetest.ca if you need to find a location near you. Uh, there's good ones and bad ones. We'll warn you of that right off the bat because uh, that sometimes is the way that we find it. But uh, for the most part, I think most people, uh, I, I, you know, I've, I've had mixed uh, mixed with them, some good, some bad. Um, so I just try not to go there anymore often than I have to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think there's been some improvement over the years. It was now. Uh, so the, the people that work there are third party. They're working for Circo. They're not working. So if you got to take a medical in or if you got to get a driver's license or a drive test or anything like that, then you go to drive test. If you go, if you need to renew your license or uh, insurance or plates or anything like that, then you go to um, you go over to the service Ontario. So there's your little history lesson for today. Hopefully that helped you get on track and know what what's what, who's what and why is what. 
bit. <laughs> hey, these are just little history snippets. Hope you're enjoying it. So if you're familiar with drive tests here in Ontario or you're looking, you're in, coming into Ontario and you go, where do I go to get my license? You've got to find a drive test center. That's where you go to take your tests. And that has changed too for you commercial vehicles who are commercial vehicle operators who have air brakes. That air brake system has now changed as well. All right, my friends, we'll be back right after this. Hey, everybody, you've heard of uh, Rosedale Transport. Well, you know, they've got tons of opportunities for you, no matter what you want to do. You know what? It doesn't matter what terminal, because they have terminals all across North America, and they are looking for owner-operators, truck drivers, and other team members that might be uh, of interest. The best way to find out all the information about Rosedale, the history of a 50-year company that's stable and rock-solid in the industry, is to go to rosedalegroup.com. That's right. Just go to rosedalegroup.com, and you can see all the opportunities. Look under the Careers tab. You'll see what's available. You'll see they've got 800 employees, 2,500 happy clients, 15 offices, and 50 years of trust. And when you get there and you talk to them, you say, hey, you know what? I want to be part of your team. Make sure you tell them that you heard about it from the Lead Pedal Podcast. All right, rosedalegroup.com. Tell them we sent you. Bye. All right. So, hey, make sure you follow us, too. We're, you can find us at leadpedalmedia.com, uh, leadpedalradio.com, or the leadpedalpodcast.com. Uh, it'll take you to all the same spot. You guys know how to follow us. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on uh, LinkedIn. We're on TikTok. And uh, we're on YouTube, of course. So uh, check us out there. If you want to see uh, videos for any of these episodes, you can also find them there. You can also find this on our podcast list on the, on YouTube as well. So make sure you follow us. Join our fan club. And if you want to uh, deal with us live, we have live shows every week. Um, on uh, Monday, we have, we, we've taken a bit, bit of a break for our October, uh, but starting October 16th, we're going to have... Um, we're going to be back doing our trivia nights, Monday nights at 7 o'clock. Uh, we've got LPR Live, which is our uh, trucking news and uh, music. That's uh, Wednesdays at noon. And then our fan club show, Fridays at noon, where we do shout-outs to our fan club members and draws and that kind of stuff. And then uh, Sundays, we have our Tropical Day show. So check us out. Any of those, you're going to love those. And, uh, of course, you got the podcast, which is a daily show Monday to Friday. All right, my friends. Talk to you later. Hope you're having a good day. Leave us a review. Let us know what you think. And we'll... We'll uh, catch you next time. Bye for now. This has been another episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. For more information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit the leadpedalpodcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.